Welcome to our Libra Tea Reading. I'm Scorpio Moon. Intuition bring messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels, nice and good is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to you all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and see. Spirit, what does Libra need to know about their love life? Who is the person that is connected to Libras in love? What does Libra need to know about the person that they are connected to in love? Who is the person that is connected to Libras at this time? Please bring forth clear messages in regards to the connection towards Libra and the person that they're connected to in love. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so overall, I see here spring, new ideas, inspiration, and birth, and it came up neutral. Also, we have let go. Okay. <laughs> also, we have uh, purge and detox. So um, this was actually kind of strange, but um, we'll take it as neutral. And also, we have hate or resentment. Wow. So what I'm getting here is that overall, um, your person is not ready for anything new at this time. Um, I see her union. Okay. So they definitely want union. However, um, there is a new love. So perhaps, you know, your person is interested in a new union. Okay. And that's why things are not, uh, coming into fruition. Okay. Um, they're not really thinking about the situation uh, about this unrequited love, okay, or one-sided love, because I really feel like there is love, but um, there is a little deception here, and that's why they're they're coming off as neutral, right? So overall, I see that um, they are trying to let go of this hate or resentment uh, of having like a new idea of union. Okay, now, you know, take it as it resonates, you know, I do see alternatively that your person doesn't like the idea of um, letting go of this union with you, okay, but I definitely see that um, they're not really purging and they're not really detoxing. Um, they're kind of like marinating in this hate or resentment of letting go and starting something new. So what this tells me is that your person has a hard time of letting go of old ideas, old beliefs in regards to how you guys would come into union or how they should uh, be in a relationship. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Let's see what else. Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is the energy of the person that is connected to Libras in love? What can you reveal to me about the energy of the person that is connected to Libras at this time? What else can you reveal to me about this person's energy? One more card, please, Spirit. All 
Okay. So I see her fate, um, and it's in reverse. It says this is a destined partnership. Okay, your person currently does not feel like this is a fated connection. That's why um, they're in the energy of letting go. Also, we have vulnerability, and it's reverse. They're not vulnerable. Okay, um, they're not completely open. Also, we have mastery, and it's in reverse. You've learned the spiritual lesson, so I have a feeling like they have not learned uh, some kind of a lesson uh, up in this point, and so we have regret in a neutral position. Someone feels remorse for the way that they treated you. Okay, there is no really regret about this hate or resentment. Now, this hate or resentment is different for everyone, okay? that That's the feeling I'm getting, and that's why uh, maybe that's the reason why your person hasn't mastered the lesson here, um, and it's about uh, not being able to be vulnerable, okay? So maybe this is something that they need to purge and detox because right now they're not doing it, but I do see that they're trying to let go possibly of this hate or resentment. Okay, but right now they can't really see past this hate. I don't know what this hate is. Um, hate is a really, uh, it's a very um, low vibration. You know, let's see what else. What did they hate? <laughs> I don't know, you tell me. Let's see. Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is the energy of the person that is connected to Libra? How they currently think and feel? What is it that they want? And what is the outcome? What is the energy of the person that is connected to Libras at this time? Wow, I see here the Hierophant, so this uh, could be that either they are in a commitment or you are, um, I don't know, th this is something about a commitment, okay? They know that there has to be some sort of a change. Now, this person is letting go of whatever this commitment is. Um, there could be deception, manipulation, okay, this hate or resentment from what I can see. This person has no regret, okay, and, you know, like, they're being tough, okay. They have a very, uh, hard exterior on the outside, um, and they don't, they don't want to be innovative or creative, you know, they don't want to hear it is what I'm hearing, you know. Um, I'm also hearing that they're telling you, like, yeah, this is not a faded connection. I don't know what you're thinking, right? Now, I know that this reading isn't for everyone, okay, but it's actually coming through for today's channeling. So, your person is trying to let go, okay? They could be trying to let go of you. Maybe they're trying to let go of this hate. Maybe they have to let go of you to let go of this hate and resentment so that they can just sit with themselves and kind of like deal with their own uh, issues of being vulnerable, okay? Um, because there's something here that they really need to work on. Also, they feel stuck. They feel stuck because things aren't really growing, okay? Uh, again, this is like... Um, your person needs space. So that that's uh, the vibration I'm getting, and um, they're not telling you something. Maybe they're planning uh, a situation, but um, there is a bit of deception. Okay, that they feel like they can't do this anymore. Okay, uh, they have issues of moving on. They're accepting for whatever has happened has happened. And what I'm getting is that they're not happy. So I have a feeling that you're dealing with a past person. You know, you guys left each other kind of salty, kind of bitter. Um, you know, it's spring here in the United States. And this person is not feeling the spring, okay? <laughs> they're like, let go, you know? I don't know what this is, but... Yeah, there's a bit of toxicity here. Now, for some, maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn and they uh, feel like they can't do this anymore. Okay. Uh, they're hurt. They're healing or they're trying to heal and they're trying to get out of their head. So, I don't know. Maybe you're dealing with someone who, who really needs mental help. 
is what I'm getting um, because I see that this person is all in their head now that's not for everyone um, they could just be having a hard time of really you know handling um, their their situation here now, on a personal level now I see that you possibly have made an offer and they're just sitting here they're like they're not interested in the third party they're not interested in you either okay also um, they just don't feel very good okay they don't want to be vulnerable their ego and pride uh, is at an all-time low you know um there's a lot of hatred resentment letting go they need to purge and detox but are they you know i feel like they're holding on to the hate which is um not really good for them also uh they don't want to fight okay uh also what i'm seeing is that you know they're just not feeling the love all you know also now this is your card you know maybe perhaps you're getting out of a legal situation with this uh, particular person now if you guys are not legally bind bound together okay um they know that there is an imbalance like this situation is not fair it's not balanced um there's something off right and uh, they want to offer you something stable now i don't know what this is this feels kind of bipolarish. it's like one minute they're like you know i hate you but then here le let me give you something <laughs> because i see that you know they want to come in like i don't know this feels very bipolar okay it's like i hate you you know and you know i want to let you go but then they come back they're like hey how's it going you know and you're like what the fuck is this right i don't know it, it's so strange you know they're gonna act like yeah this is not a faded connection you know they're, they're not seeing anything new happening but then they want to apologize and you're like i feel like this person's giving you mixed messages now they're they're trying to get over this whole situation with their parties and they've done the reflection okay they're trying to balance themselves you could be dealing with a virgo could be a sag um but what i'm seeing here is that yeah they're they're looking to be creative like i said like there's something they just need to be alone that's what this feels like they're not happy they feel honestly whoever you're dealing with they're bipolar okay <laughs> yeah they want a new love right they're they're not feeling this union okay with you but they want a new love so maybe you're dealing with someone who wants to get out of a relationship with you maybe you're actually married maybe this is your person in another commitment and they want a new love but that's what i'm seeing you know um let's see what else okay so they're thinking okay they invested into the wrong situation or maybe it's been a long time coming right everything that they try to work on never really works out but they want union they want to come towards you so it's so strange like your person maybe you're done with this your person's done with two different uh energies on one hand okay they hate or resent a situation but they do want to come and have union with you okay so it's gonna be different for everyone but this person has like an alter ego maybe they're living a double life i don't know what this is guys but it feels very bipolar ish <laughs> so uh what is it that they feel they really feel like they they need to hold back but they hope that they could heal this situation of the past maybe for some you have children or maybe they have children with someone else they hope that they can heal that you know and that's one of the reasons why they're holding back so even though that they want union with you they want to get together with you and have uh, a sense of balance and stability they're really holding themselves back maybe because of kids okay and, and i'm seeing that here but they're really trying to work on things now what is it that they want so they're looking to see which direction that they should go and they are looking okay um they're being patient right there's a lot of things that they're not really revealing so this is maybe feelings of insecurity um definitely we have here hate and resentment you know these are things that they need to let go they've invested into uh, a situation uh with you for some time and they need to figure out which 
which path that they should take. Now, in the outcome, okay, they're not very clear and they're going to hold back and they might cut you off. So, yeah, your person is like at one point, this is what I feel for some of you Libras, okay, your person uh, maybe portrays that, you know, yeah, I want union with you, but then they cut you off. And they're like, what the heck? You know, um, that's what I'm seeing. For some, you're actually either married to this person and um, they, they for, I don't know, you might know your person's personality. So on some days they might be, you know, hey, you know, how are you? And then turn around and they cut you off. And you're like, what the heck? Like, weren't you just cordial? Like, you know, a couple hours ago, what, what happened? <laughs> this is that kind of energy that's actually coming through so let me know guys okay um i don't know let's see w what are the messages that this person like to say what are the love notes that your person like to say I'm tired of waiting. I'm ready to do whatever it takes to be with you. So, I don't know. Like, your person is tired of waiting. Maybe this person wants to come back. But, honestly, I don't know. Because I see that they're saying that it's not a faded connection. Like, honestly, I really feel like you're doing some bipolar. Okay? Of all the stars that stare down on me, there is only one that I look for and think of you. So your person, they're very dreamy, very romantic, but then I feel like they, they flip a switch and they're a whole new person. I guarantee it. Now, I know that this reading is not going to be for everyone, but it's coming through in today's channeling. This person is bipolar. Okay, so let's see. Spirit, can you please reveal to me? What is the energy of the person that is connected and what is the, the guidance? So what is the guidance message for Libras? Okay, do you want to come out? We have cycles and rhythms. Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. So are you in the cycle and rhythm of life with my Eve? I really feel like it's time to come into balance within yourself. Okay. Also, we have Frasia. Bold. Unleash your adventurous side. Take risks and be daring. So be bold. You know, work on whatever this cycle is. I really feel like this is karmic. You know, um, I don't know. Like, I'm, I don't feel like it's for everyone, but it's coming through. It's, it's someone who's bipolar. They're going to play off like, you know, they want you, right? And then they turn around and they cut you off and you're like, what the heck? I really feel like it's for somebody who is actually in a marriage or a relationship. You guys are already together. You, you share a past and for some you have children, okay? You have children with this person. And so, like I say, it's not going to be for everyone's message, but that's what I'm seeing um just be bold you know take take a risk really work on what is actually going to bring you stability okay like be in, in a kind of a cycle uh that that is resonant with you not the this person cycle because this person cycle is loopy okay one minute they're up and the next they're down you have to focus more on yourself because if you're not stable in yourself then this person is going to continue to work their way into your energy and it's going to f you up that's what i have guys so be mindful of your energy okay and if you know who this is just say no thank you okay um you know, I'm not going to take this uh, wishy-washy energy from you, okay? And just tell them, hey, if you know what you want, then come. If not, then just leave me alone. <laughs> 
as what I have. So I really hope that this reading was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.